this is Devin, and today I'm going to film another haul. Um, excuse my hair. It's like, this side is naturally curly like it normally is, and kind of a lot less frizzy than this side for some reason. I don't really know what happened there. Maybe I didn't put as much curl cream in this side as I did this side. I don't really know. But anyway, it's kind of crazy today. So, this is probably going to be my last haul. A lot of stuff in this haul, um, one of them, some of the stuff was a gift, um, from one of my friends. I'm not going to say who it was because I don't really know if she wants, um, her personal business out there like that, but she's one of my really sweet friends. Um, and then there is, um, some stuff that I got the other day that I forgot to show you guys. Um, and then... Just a few odds and ends, like a bunch of like different things thrown together. I'm probably not going to do much more shopping this month, actually. Um, I'm going to get some more candles from Bath and Body Works, um, but other than that, I think I'm pretty much done. So now it'll be I'll, I'll be doing a video on whatever I get for my birthday later on next week but this was like this whole month has been like me shopping for myself for my birthday so I will show you guys next week what I actually get for my birthday um, so the first place I want to talk about was one I forgot about last week and it's Rue 21 or RU21, whatever. I, I say RU21. And I went specifically for these nail stickers um, because I've just never really wanted to spend the money on the Sally Hansen nail effects, even though I've heard they're really good. Um, I've never really wanted to spend the money on them to see if I like them because I feel like eight or nine, I think mine are like $10 at my store. $10 is a little bit much if just, just to see if I like something, because if I don't like it, I can't return it, and um, that that's just too much for me. So, I heard they were really affordable at Rue 21, and these were actually back in the back of my store on clearance for 99 cents. They originally ranged from like 2.99 to 3.99, but I got these for 99 cents. So, I got, and I hope you guys can see this, I realized in my last video that I have like a glare. So, that's kind of like funky, but anyway, um, this is like a pink houndstooth. I'm trying to make it not glare. So stinking cute. And this one is like a glittery print of some sort. Don't really know. But glittery print of some sort. And the last one I seem to have misplaced. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Duh. This one is just zebra print. So I got those for 99 cents, so that way if I don't like them, I'm not going to be, like, extremely disappointed. And then, they have all their flip-flops on sale. I've never bought Rue 21 flip-flops. I always just buy the Old Navy flip-flops, and I, like, live in them literally year-round. So, um, anyway, they had theirs on sale. So I got these really cute pair. I don't know what you call those designs. They're just cute. They have some little thing right here that actually probably is not going to fall off because if you can see, it's attached in the back. So, that was pretty cool. And I got these pair, which I love because they have an owl on them. Right there. The cutest stinking owl right there on the side of them. Love it. So cute. And then I got these because they reminded me of the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland, which I'm, like, kind of obsessed with. So, I got those three pairs of flip-flops and these three nail things for $4.24. So, if you haven't checked out your Rue 21 clearance section, I would go check it out because I love it. Like, I want to go back, but I'm controlling myself. So... Anyway, um, so I got today from my friend that I was talking about. I was so, so excited. I got the um, Urban Decay Clean and Sober Oil-Free Makeup Remover, which is so 
fantastic and so funny because my makeup remover is almost gone and when I went to the Urban Decay site like the sale they were having this was not on there um, I saw Sam show hers and it wasn't on there I couldn't find it and I was like oh fudge I really wanted that so I like screamed when I opened and saw this I can't wait to try this um, I also got from Urban Decay a matte eyeshadow in the color Narcotic. Gorgeous. This is actually one of the few things that I didn't pick up from the sale that's going on on their site. This is the creamiest eyeshadow I have ever felt in my life. It's really a pretty sky blue. It's so creamy. Like, seriously, it's as creamy as the Inglot Matte. And they're like top-notch matte. And these are just as creamy. And there it is. It's a gorgeous sky blue. I did not have a sky blue turquoise color. I have a turquoise, but it's darker. So I think that with the darker one that I have are, is going to look just gorgeous. So anyway, that is in Narcotic. And then she also sent me the TG Bedhead Shine Junkie Lip Gloss in Mocha. I have this on right now. Kind of love it. My mom was like, oh my God, that is such a good color on you. And I was like, yeah, I know. I love it. And I love my TG Bedhead palette that I have. So I really like this so far. And then she sent me, and this is like perfect timing too because I'm almost out of my cleanser. And I was just going to go to the store and I was just going to buy, you know, a regular cleanser from the store. But she sent me, and I've been wanting to try this line for so long because I've heard Sam talk about it for so long um, and how much she loves it. So I'm so excited to try the Mary Kay Time Wise 3-in-1 Cleanser. And this is the one for combination to oily skin, which I have. And this is the cleanser. I'm so excited. I'm probably going to turn into like a Mary Kay junkie now and have to have, you know, the, the whole kit and caboodle of the face stuff. So, thank you so much for sending me that stuff. Um, if you're watching, you know who you are. Thank you so much. I love it. I'm so excited. Okay, so... Then I went to Forever 21 today because at my mall, if it's your birthday month, you get like a $10 gift card. And I needed some new earrings. Well, I didn't need, but I wanted some new earrings. So I went to Forever 21 and I got some new earrings. And I love these pair right here. I fell in love with these. They are so stinking cute. They have the purple feather. And then they have like this bird here that has like all different colors. I don't know if it's going to pick up. And then, like, this is brown or purple. Brown threading. And this is just, you know, the gunmetal or whatever. Love these. Cannot wait to wear these. And I also picked up these um, arrowheads, right? Yeah, arrowheads. Love these. Just some super cute dangly earrings. And then I needed some studs because I don't have any studs. And I found these. I was so excited when I found these. I could have peed my pants. They have the, um, my mind just totally went blank. The cameos right here. I love cameos. My grandmother used to connect cameos. Um, I, I didn't end up with any of her pieces. I don't know who got those. But um, I love cameos. And they had cameos and they had little little bow rings right here in the middle, the little gold tone bow rings. I've been wanting some of those. They have little flower rings that are so stinking cute. These right here, I mean, how cute are those guys? Clock rings, okay? And then right here are little heart rings that say love. And then up here is just a set of little pearls. I was so, so excited to find these because that's like all the studs I'll ever need because I don't wear studs very often, but I need some for my second hole, so those will be so cute. And it was four dollars and eighty cents for this, so that's less than a dollar a pair because you get six pair in here, like way less than a dollar a pair. Um, these were four eighty. These really cute ones right here were only a dollar fifty, and they had a ton of them left at my Forever Twenty One. I don't know about other stores, you know it ranges, and these were three eighty. So sticking with the jewelry theme. I had ordered from my Avon lady a Kenneth J. Lane, Kenneth J. Lane, right? Yeah, 
Kenneth J. Lane watch. And Kenneth J. Lane is um, kind of a higher end costume designer, costume jewelry designer. And this is the watch. It is so cool. It just like wraps around your wrist. I have the time set. Yeah, it's right. Four o'clock. It's so sick and cool. I would put it on, but it takes a little bit of adjusting, and I'm really not in the mood to do that right now, but I love it. Love, love, love it. And I, I love snakes anyway. I have a snake tattooed on my ankle, so I like, I love snakes, and I like a lot of doodly stuff. Like, I have to really be careful when I get my tattoos to make sure they look kind of girly, because I've got this, uh, the snake was my first tattoo, and my mom was like, doesn't that look kind of guyish? And I was like, no. And I wanted my next tattoo to be a dragon. Like, I was going to do, like, a dragon and stuff right here. But then I was like, well, maybe it does look a little guyish. So, I did stars. And then this one I stuck with the butterflies. So, I have to really be careful because I really like the snakes and the dragons and the more, um, I don't know, gothic stuff, I guess. I don't really know. But anyway, I got that. I love that. It was $30 from Avon. And then... I went to Rite Aid and I grabbed three lipsticks from Jessie's Girl. And these are called In the Mood Lipsticks. And this color is called Sinful. Okay, so you're looking at that thinking, what the hell are you going to do with a blue lipstick, right? No, this does not come out blue. As a matter of fact, I will swatch this for you. Um, it's supposed to change with your mood. I don't really think it changes with your mood, per se. Um, but it does look different on everybody because I had my mom try it and it turned out a totally different color on her than it does me. Like, you can see right there on me, it turns out a little bit more purple, lavenderish. Whereas on my mom, it came out like a bright pink. So, I thought that was pretty cool. This one is Envy. Yet again, it is not green. It is like a really pretty um, corally pink. And these are sheer. You know, they're not going to like be like bam in your face. But there is that one. And then the last one I got looks yellow. It's called Sublime. See, it looks yellow. But it's really like, I think this one was like a really bright pink. No, this was the light pink. Light pink. So see, those are three really pretty, pretty lipstick colors. And I have to say that I'm really impressed with the formulation of these. I put these on and they felt super smooth. They stayed all day like a champ. Um, you know, I mean, after you eat or whatever, I had to reapply it. And, you know, it wasn't like a lip tar or anything, but it was pretty stinking good. Okay, so I got a lot of stuff from Bath & Body Works, like um, wallflowers and stuff, but I think I'm going to do a separate haul on Bath & Body Works when I get the candles that I'm getting ready to get from them next week because that way I can just do a whole Bath & Body Works video and it won't be, like, totally annoying. So, last but not least in this haul, I was so excited. I ordered... I'm obsessed with Lime Crime, and I ordered two of the lipsticks from the Lip Noir collection. Okay, and first of all, let me just show you how stinking cute this packaging is. I mean, seriously, it is so cute, so bright, it's illegal, Lime Crime makeup. And then when you open it up got like this little quote right here that says beauty is not what's normal or even what looks best. It's what feels right at the moment. Um, written by Doe Deer, the founder of Lime Crime who is so stinking cute. And inside were my two lipsticks and it came with this um, cute pamphlet, the Lip Noir pamphlet. And inside it's got all three of the lipsticks. So you've got the chinchilla right here. I hope this is not like blinding you guys with the light from my window. And then you've got Glamour 101 right here. And I pronounce this stiletto. I've heard some people pronounce it stiletto. So I don't really know. I mean, I pronounce it stiletto. 
but I may be wrong. Anyway, so the two that I got are the chinchilla and the stiletto. I didn't get the red, even though I seriously am so obsessed. I might go back and get it. I don't know. Eh, I don't need it because I have a lot of red, but um, I got the gray and the black. I got the black just basically because I think everybody kind of, you know, you never know when you're going to want to throw on a black lipstick, right? I mean, I don't see myself wearing it every day, but anyway, the packaging right here that it comes in is so cute. Purple unicorns. I mean, hello, I collect unicorns and purple is my favorite color. I've gravitated towards this. Uh, the first time I bought um, Lime Prime was at IMAX, and I gravitated towards this once I realized the packaging, like, I don't know, like it was some kind of time zone thing. I was just like, oh, it was so crazy. And then I fell in love with the product. Not only is the packaging gorgeous, but the product is fantastic. So, you got the cute little unicorn on the packaging, and this is just the black one. It's just a regular black, like I said, not for everyday wear for me, personally. Um, but, you know, never know when I'll need it. Really, really dark black. This one is the chinchilla. I am so stinking excited about this, guys. If you look at this lipstick and you're like, uh, no, I don't think I'm going to be wearing a gray lipstick. This lipstick seriously looks so fantastic on that it's not even funny. Oh, I don't even know where to swatch it. I will swatch it right here. It doesn't even look that gray. It's like gray with a very, very purple undertone. It's so much, it's more purple really than it is anything. And it's like a really perfect purple nude for your lip. I mean, it looks a lot stronger right there than it does on my lip. I was like floored when I saw it. I was so excited how good it looked. I think I might have to buy a backup because these are limited edition. Those, these three are limited edition, the Lip Noir. So that is my Lime Crime. And there is a trick to putting on Lime Crime lipstick. I'm probably going to sometime around mid... December, beginning December, mid-December, sometime around there. I'm probably going to do a whole video reviewing my Lime Crime, uh, my products, uh, my tips on how to apply it and stuff as far as the lipstick because there is a key to it. it I'll just, I'll talk about it in that video. So look for that video in December probably um, because I plan on doing some major haulage on their Cyber Monday. Um, April said they have a really good sale, so I'm totally racking up. Um, anyway, so that is it for my haul. I'll do a separate Bath & Body Works haul sometime next week. And next week I will also do a haul telling you guys what I got from other people for my birthday. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Today's Friday. I turned 30 on Tuesday. Yeah, it's like countdown to 30. Seriously. Okay. Alright, anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.